The good life. Look at this view. <laughs> Ahoy, matey! I can't believe we're doing it. Bravo. Right there. Yeah. Main lobster. Mm. So Are you ready to rock and roll? <laughs> wow, that was an eye opener. There we are. Welcome, everybody, to RV There Yet's live stream, our first live stream. Hello, we're, hello. We're coming to you here from the Dirty Dog Ranch here in Tampa, Florida. And if you don't know about the Dirty Dog Ranch, you can search it on Instagram. But the many beagles and chickens that we have here on the ranch, and uh, it's Patrice's favorite thing about <laughs> where we're at right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Kevin. This is my wife, Patrice. We are the hosts of RV There Yet TV, and we are glad you're with us tonight. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> See if you can give us a share. If everybody yeah. can hit the share button right now and tell your friends you're watching. That way we can get some more people on here. We'd appreciate that a real lot. Where can they watch us? You can watch on Facebook right now and we're on YouTube. So both social medias, uh, you can watch either way. Make sure you get your questions. We can hit over here. If you got oh, questions, yeah. I can I can click over here and we can see what questions and put your question up on the screen and answer your questions for you. We get a lot of questions and we have answers already from some of the repeat questions that we get. So we figured we would put it out there, but we'll, we'll get to those later. Um, certainly, um, who is that? Ken, Ken Rowe. Ken. Hi, good evening. Yeah. Yeah. There he is right there. Yeah. We get it. We get quite a few um, questions and I, we wanted to say thank you everyone for watching this season, yeah. uh, for finding us and sharing us. Um, thank you to all of our partners like Winnebago and Starbright, Startron, Blue Ox, um, Campers Inn, yeah. uh, you know, Hughes and Magma. I mean, we could not keep rolling down the road without them. Certainly our crew, the networks, Motor Trend and Discovery. Um, it's been a blast. Season two has been a blast. It is officially a wrap. Yeah. And uh, we're looking... We're looking forward to season three. John Thor Thorinson. 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 Thorinson says hello. Hey, John. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is just our first live stream. We're probably a little echoey here. Our, our microphone uh, is not perfect. We really should be a little bit closer to our mic, so it's a little more full. But, again, this is our first event. We're just trying it out. We're going to have guests on next time we do this. We're going to have folks from Winnebago. I mean, it's going to be a blast. Rangers from the past, you know, uh, we'd love to have everybody. We're going to be heading out to Nebraska um, in July, and we're going to be staying out there probably most of August. Um, so we'll be out in Nebraska and um, exploring a little bit more. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, we can we can bring in a ranger that we've met in the past, and, and that'll be fun. Um, one of the number one questions we get is, how did you even start? RV there yet. Um, it's a, it's kind of a funny story. Um, we've been producing television for over 24 years. Um, Kevin actually went to school for television here in Tampa, um, broadcast communications, and the business has been in for 32 years. 32 years going. Uh, we've had a fishing show for 22 of those years on Discovery and Fox Sports. Um, we produced a tournament fishing show for FLW, Yamaha. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of experience behind the scenes. Um, COVID had hit <laughs> and the ramps closed down <laughs> here in Florida. Guides didn't want you on their boats because they didn't know how to transmit the virus. Um, so Discovery had called and said, you know, what are you guys going to do with your airtime? And this guy just said... <laughs> How about an RV show? Um, I did not know he was going to say that. I had no clue. Um, we've been RVers since 2004. Um, we bought in our first Winnebago back in 2004 to take it on the road um, to take the fishing shows, trade shows, and shoots, and crew uh, from Texas all the way up to New York. So we've, we've been RVers, but that was... This, that's what he does. He just comes up with ideas. We've already got a malfunction here with the oh, microphone. Nice. <laughs> Let me fix it real quick. Nice. It's good. You're going to hear it. Bear with us. 
You're going to hear it. I apologize. Oh, John bought bought a blue ox. Oh, he did. Nice. Do you love it? We there love it. Is. it. Yes. Nice. John, I've got, I don't know if you got the rock guard, but I've seen a bunch of questions online about, should I get a rock guard? We put a GoPro on the back of our blue ox uh, on our first episode. And I just, just saw it the other day. And I really want to post it on Facebook here this week to show you how many rocks come off. And this was in, in a park. We were doing 25 miles per hour yeah. in a park. And I, I'll show you that to you this week. I'll post it. But it's amazing how many rocks come off the road to hit your car. And many people say, I don't think I need it. I, we swear by it. And we'll this, yeah, this yeah, footage we'll will you. definitely convince you to get the rock art. Uh, yes, I did buy the rock guard. Good, Very well. Good. Philly Billy's in the house from Philadelphia. Oh, there he is. Hello from Philadelphia. What's going on, Billy? How you doing? I have a lot of family um, in the Philadelphia, New Jersey yeah. area. My dad grew up um, that way. So. Yes, you did buy the rock guard. That's, oh, that's, that's going to save your toad. Toad, if anybody's watching that doesn't know what a toad is, a toad is short for your toad, tow vehicle. So when you hear us say the toad, that's what that is. And we have Sherry Lindgren. Oh, Lindgren. She's from yep. Wisconsin. Yep. Oh, where is that? Oh, Wisconsin. Hello from Wisconsin. Yeah, she's on Instagram. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. You so, told me about yep, that. I recognize the name. Hello from Wisconsin. Thanks for joining we us, We hope Sherry. to get up to Wisconsin, too. Holy Moses, is it beautiful up there. Uh, I'm not afraid of going in the winter. I keep saying that to him. Mm -hmm. Um, Cocoa Beach kid may not like it, but um, yeah, I'm good. I'm ready to go ice fishing. <laughs> but I know you guys do a lot up there, and you have some ice castles or an ice hotel um, that just would be beautiful to go up and do. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, please ask us questions yeah. um, throughout. Let us know if um, you guys want to know anything else. Um, tell them about the website. The website. Oh, we can actually show a little bit of the website. I think I'm sharing it back here. I can just hit this little button here, right here. We Ken, can we'll say. come up to New Jersey. That would be uh, fun. Yeah. Uh, so here's the website. If you haven't been to our website, there's a lot of fun stuff on here that I want to tell you about. One is the trip maps. Uh, we make a map for every episode that we do. So this is Crystal River. I, I can't click on them because it'll open up in a new window. But when you open up this map, you can actually get driving directions to exactly where we went. So you got Crystal River, you got every episode, Melbourne, Searsport, Maine, Florida Keys. All of these maps are for you all to click on when you're driving, click on your Google map, and you can go to the destination or go to one of the stops we went to. So this is a really good section of our website that we wanted to show you, and it's called Trip Maps. Um, another one is our subscribe page. You can get uh, our little stickers right here. So if you subscribe... Uh, let me click on the subscribe button right here. All right. So make sure you fill out this information here and we'll get you part of our sticker club. And we're going to give away some stuff tonight too. So we got some hats. Oh yeah. Um, Cool hats. I got some big, big mugs. Uh, John, for your new uh, blue ox, we got a blue ox mug maybe for you. Tumblr. Tumblr. Yeah. There you go. And uh, yeah, we got some good stuff. And we also have a, a nice Starbright RV care bucket. And if you guys uh, haven't used Starbright products, I've been using Starbright products for over 20 years on my car, my boat, and now my RV. And they're made right in Alabama, headquarters in Fort Lauderdale. So it's an American made company. We believe in the product, whether it's wash, wax, bug off, awning cleaner. I use it on my toilets at the house here in the showers. Um, we use it in the pool area. Um, it's good for a disinfectant too for the chicken coop. Yeah. <laughs> so we use it for everything. And again, you can see here, you can get a Hughes auto former and a watchdog. You can get a magma grill dish. All of the products that we use on the show are right here in our camp store section of the website. And we had said earlier for everybody who's just jumping on to, we've been RVers since 2004. Um, we knew nothing. I had never been in an RV until, again, his idea, let's buy an RV and take the fishing show from Texas to New York. I was like, okay. <laughs> so everything we use when we decided to do this show and knowing that we were going to be the ones in front of the camera um, it was important that it was stuff we knew about, we liked, and we used. So believe me, we've turned down stuff because 
I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I just <laughs> wouldn't. Um, you know, these are things that we absolutely believe in. This is our merch page. If you guys want to support the show and get a t-shirt, get a hat. Uh, this is our cool uh, endless road trip, our in search of our That was in Nebraska. Hike. That was in Niobrara, yeah. that picture. Uh, and thanks to David Sheritz, yeah. our photographer. He's always with us shooting great photos. So thank you so much for we, David. We were actually coming back, walking back to the cabins to drop off the crew um, after the sunset yeah. from that episode. And Dan, our drone uh, operator, said, stop, stop, stop right there. And David took our picture. It was, yeah. we, we didn't even know in that picture, probably, thank God you can't see our faces. Because I was like, <laughs> what? So, <laughs> uh, who else do we have? Hi from Phoenix, Arizona, favorite national park. Oh, man. Where was that at? Me okay, is Bryce, Bryce Canyon. Um, we went there with, uh, Ranger Dave and Calamity Carla from season one are very good friends. Um, Dave used to plan all of our trips um, to the national parks. And this was one epic trip. Um, we did the North Rim, the South Rim, Zion, Bryce. Oh, and I can't even remember what Grand else. Canyon. Oh, Grand Canyon. Yeah. And the uh, North Rim. We did the North Rim on that trip. The, Bryce Canyon's got to be my favorite so far. I haven't done done them all. <laughs> we, we love the national parks, but the problem with shooting the show in the national parks are it's just too many constraints, too many you know restrictions, too many people. So we're going to focus on state parks for the show. So we'll leave the national parks. I'm a Zion fan. I mean, Zion is a really cool park, but unfortunately, I, I believe social media has just they're just acted. crowded. Uh, same thing with Grand Canyon. I like the South Rim. I also like the North I love Rim. The so North Rim. Uh, that's a special one for us. Um, but, you know, Saguaro, we've been to Saguaro. We yeah. did that year one. Um, you know, I, I'm, an, I'm a state park guy. So I like the national parks, but I, I like no crowds. We're kind of the no crowd. Yeah, and that's type. the whole reason why we RV number one. I hate to fly. Hi, Amy from Kansas City. Um, oh. She snuck in there. Oh, nice. um, I hate to fly. I just don't like the whole process of it. Plus, uh, I mean, there's a lot of things I don't like to do because <laughs> I feel like as humans, we shouldn't do them. <laughs> Flying is one of them. <laughs> Going underground in an elevator is another thing. But, you know. Um, I'm, I'm, she's warming up the caves. <laughs> I, I, she backed out. As and, long but, as there's stairs, <laughs> I on my own I can get out. But that's a whole nother story. Um, I forgot where I was going. <laughs> Let's read this one. This is Ken Wright. Let's share any story about one we're going in the Florida Keys. Did you all trips have been fantastic. Florida oh, Keys yeah. was a great time. Um, I really liked uh, Sunshine RV Park and Marina. I mean, it's got everything there. There's a marina. There's 400 RV sites. It's right past the Seven Mile Bridge. So you're within like 45 minutes to Key West. You can go up to Isle Murata. I mean, it's perfectly lit situated in the Florida Keys, Ken. And I would recommend it. Yeah, and Ken, uh, Ken does the Starbright stuff because of Josh Williams, NASCAR. Um, oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, and uh, they do. They've been sponsoring Josh Williams yep. for a long time. He's a good guy. Great, great guy. Um, Campers Inn also is sponsoring some of the NASCAR drivers yep. as well. Um, interesting that they're both in in that realm. Yeah. Oh, look who it is. John Turner. No, it's oh, your mom. Oh, it's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Everyone say hello to Marianne. That's my mom. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to go back to the website real quick because I want to uh, see how I do this. I think I click here. All right. I want to show you one over here on the website is these three little buttons. So there's more things to do. So there's our outtakes and extras here. So stuff that didn't make it to the TV show, we, we make a video out of it because we've got great interviews with park rangers and, you know, our Made in America segment. We've got huge, you know, 20 minute interviews and it only ends up being a minute and a half. Well, like, so Rick, we, like Rick Rushing yeah. in Chattanooga, yeah. the um, blues guitarist, when we met him at Songbirds. Um, it's interesting. We spent a lot of time with him. We sat him down and we interviewed him about how he got started in music. Songbirds has a big influence on his career, um, but we just couldn't fit it into the episode. Once we get in here and we start editing, yeah. it's really how the story comes together. And there was such a little piece of Rick in the actual episode. 
but his interview was so good and so um uh, I mean, Chattanooga really, really speaks to him. So it was a really good interview. But those are some of the things. Yeah, there uh, he is right, right here. I mean, this is a great interview with Rick Rushing out of Chattanooga. Yeah. More interview with Betty. Oh, Zuckerbach. and Captain Aaron from the schooner oh. in Maine. Again, learning more about his family. We didn't use history. any of the footage yeah. from this interview. So if you watch that interview, that none of that was on the television show. It's so really this is cool. all good stuff. His family's been there since before it was Maine. Uh, it's it's very cool. Very cool. All right. What I was getting to was, and your recipes are on here if you want to look at Patricia's recipes, but this one down here has gotten a lot of, lot of interest lately, and that is our traveling tunes. Now, um, we're big Spotify. We're big music people. So as you can see here, we've made all of these Spotify playlists, depending on where you're going, whether it's Arizona, New Mexico, California, if it's, you know, 4th of July is coming up, we, we made one just for 4th of July. I mean, so we have everything. But the real neat one here is our soundtrack to season two. So uh, we use extreme music out of New York and London, high end music uh, library. library. And we got them to put our music on Spotify. We had so many people ask us about the music. I just had someone ask about Sweet On You from the Pensacola episode. Yeah, it's a good song. Uh, I'm working on getting that on Spotify. And when I do, it will be in this soundtrack right here, this season two soundtrack. So make sure you guys click on that. We will end this podcast with uh, the most popular song by far. I, I've listened to tons of music, whether it's the Eagles, whether it's you know your, your driving music. But this song and some of the songs on that playlist, to me, are the best driving music for RVers out there going. I, I truly believe that that Drive Across America is the number two song on that playlist, and it's perfect, absolutely perfect. So I wanted to show you this section. It doesn't get seen a lot. We don't share it a lot, but all of these playlists, look at them all. There's tons well, of them. It started out, once again, with Ranger Dave and, and Carla from, from season one, us traveling with each other, and Dave would always say, everybody pick 10 songs for our road trip. And then we would all fly in and then we would get in our car and start driving to all the places and start playing our music and our tunes. And so everybody, we started sharing music that way. And that's really, we're big on music. I grew up with music in the house always. My mom is on here. Um, if we were cooking, you know, Italian food that night, my parents would either have Pavarotti or Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra on. So music, <laughs> I've always had a soundtrack and same with Kevin. When we met, that was music, such a big part of, of everything for us. So when we edit, um, it, it really has to be, it's one of the most difficult things we'll have to, if we can't find the right tune that we're hearing, but we can't find it, we, we get up and walk away for a little bit and then come back. So the songs that we've chosen for all of these episodes really have been handpicked specifically for that segment. Like the Sweet On You is already in my head. It's stuck in my head. Uh, the second I heard Sweet On You, yeah. I knew it was Pensacola. So you guys, we edit right back here. The edit suite is literally right behind us. That's our computer. This used to be our home theater. Uh, we turned it into the studio uh, and we leave in two weeks. We get our new RV. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And tomorrow I, oh we have somebody else's mom on here we have vicky sherritt's oh look at that our number our, one fan our photographer's mom is on here <laughs> hi vicky hi vicky <laughs> uh i'm connecting you up with howard livingston he's living in key west okay excellent nice we'll, we'll take nice. we'll take musicians if you guys so we're going to um we're going to be um doing dinosaur Hunts. We're gonna do some. We're gonna do the dinosaur trail this next year, season three. We're gonna be hitting some beaches, outer banks. We're gonna be, you know, so waterfalls. What, yeah, waterfalls. But I'm just trying to say is if you know you guys have any musicians that you know that you like local throughout the country, we're gonna be out and about. So let us know. Give us a, a heads up. We're always looking for new ideas of things to do, and certainly we're looking for guests to have a camp night. One of the changes we're making this next season three yeah. is. Uh, the season finale was such a hit with our really nice camp set. We're going to do a camp night every episode, but we'd like to have a guest. We don't want it to be addressed just about Patrice and I. We really want to have a guest, whether it be history, whether it be music, whether it be spoken word. It doesn't matter. The idea is, is we'd rather have a guest. So certainly send people our way. Send your 
having a chef would be nice too. oh yeah that would work <laughs> you can click on the magma yeah i mean it would get awfully boring if it's just the two of us every yeah. <laughs> episode at camp yeah. night but we're going to be doing a lot of things a lot of new things too um he's got me hang gliding <laughs> um which uh, you know i'm gonna i'm gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> we have lots going on for season three like what you said uh dinosaurs waterfalls hang gliding beaches what else we got? We've History, got history, uh, lighthouses. Yeah, all kinds uh, of fun yeah. stuff. Um, so Ken's saying, tell us about the dog on our last episode. Um, that's Tucker. Tucker is I've always had two beagles. Um, we've had beagles. Well, he inherited uh, a beagle when <laughs> he took me. <laughs> um, i we've had nine beagles over the years, and the one you saw in the episode was Tucker. We had just said goodbye to our 17 year old uh, Wilson. And um, so Tucker is 12. He's um, mouthy <laughs> and um, he likes to hunt. So he stays here. The, yeah, the reason we don't, they don't come along with us or he doesn't come along with us is he's truly a beagle yeah. dog. He chases squirrels every day, here. he tracks squirrels every day. So he doesn't do well in the RV. So we, we just leave him home here. So we'll we'll get him in the uh, season finale. We'll make sure we, we get some shots. Hi, Miss Sherry. There's um, uh -huh. our, our drone pilot's oh, hey. uh, girlfriend. She's on the road, too, with us uh, yeah. most of the time. So she's been to Maine with us. And, um, gosh, just about everything the ha last half of the season. Yeah. So yeah. I'm excited for season three, too. I miss everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll put a couple of graphics. Just go ahead and keep going. Okay. So giveaways. I've got giveaways. Everybody that's been here tonight, we're going to, you know, pick some people. I've got hats. If you just jumped on. Oh, I've well, got Ken's going to get something. Some yeah, he's oh, asking yeah. all the questions. Uh, Blue Ox. I know I've got a couple of these. So I know already who's getting one of these. <laughs> uh, but the big grand prize is the Starbright um, RV Care product bucket. It's going to be a big old bucket of good stuff. Um, you didn't want me to take this all the way out, did you? Because you're looking at me weird. Well, uh, they're probably hearing the noise, well, full full volume. But... Yeah, where's there we go. Yeah, yeah. So it's cool. It's a big one. Yeah. So it's a nice tumbler. So you, yeah, you'll see this always in the front because we we're, we're always drinking water. Okay. So what does it say? Or at where? Least that's let's what see. We're where can I? Stream? Sure. Okay, Lisa. Great question. Where can I stream the show? All right. So there are three places. There might be more than that. So if you want to watch for free, but you get to watch commercials, you can watch on YouTube. If you want to watch for a small fee with no commercials, you can go to our Roku channel. So go to Roku and, and search RV There Yet TV. And I think it's $1.99 and you get all of season one, all of season two, and all the extras for $1.99 with no commercials. Um, it's also on Amazon Prime, or actually not Amazon Prime, Amazon Video, but Amazon is getting a little greedy. So it's a little more expensive over there. Uh, but there's also um, Pluto TV is yep. going to have the show here. We have not gotten word that it is there yet, but it's going to be on Pluto TV this summer. So I think that's a place that you can get. You probably have to watch commercials with that one too. It'll be free, um, but that's another streaming site. And if you stay connected to the Facebook page, we'll let you know when it's up there. Uh, we've been on Discovery Channel from January to the end of March. And then we went on Motor Trend and everybody says, Motor Trend, what are you doing on Motor Trend? Quite honestly, Motor Trend is a breath of fresh air. Very engaging audience. Uh, we, we hear from a lot of folks. I think Philly Billy, I'm not sure. I think he might have saw it on Motor Trend. But it seems that the Motor Trend folks reach out to us a little more than the Discovery well, It's folks. a very specific network. Yeah. It's very, it's that, you know, automotive genre. So I feel like th that it, it is kind of a little break in their regular programming. Um, they're owned by Discovery. And it's just, it's a high quality network. But it's just been, it's been refreshing. In, in our 23 years of doing television, we've <laughs> never worked with them. Um, so it, for the last two years, it's been you know, oh, this is fun. We've got a whole new group of people. Here you go. You got somebody there for you. Um, I also see Kelly Harris. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's our neighbor who's also on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that you uh, had the new chocolate bombs coming up for Christmas. Um, Ivy was just testing them. Kelly, she, is it home shopping? I, I don't no, want to misspeak. Is it I think it's QVC. QVC? 
All right, you yeah. can find Kelly on one of those two. Yeah, it's, it's, our block is is <laughs> well, a lot of us work from home and uh, doing TV. Um, I see Sherry too. Just asked me, um, what is my favorite recipe to cook um, when camping? A couple things that I do automatically before I know we're leaving. I make a big pot of spaghetti sauce, and then I make a big pot of chili, and I usually freeze it flat in Ziploc bags in a couple of them. You know, I portion it out just one for me and Kevin, but then I also leave a big one because I know I'm going to feed the crew um, and I freeze them flat. That way they fit in the freezer really nice. I never leave home without a big pot of chili and a big pot of spaghetti sauce because you can do anything with it. Um, and then just, you know, your typical hamburgers, hot dogs. Um, chicken. Um, and then I just wait until we get to that local area to find the produce and, you know, the artisan bread places and the cheese and the wine and whatever they're making, the apples. I like your shrimp or your lobster puffs. Oh, Those yeah, yeah. Really well, again, in until, the pizza oven. Yeah, until we got um, to Maine, I was able to bring home a bunch of lobster and shrimp. And then uh, I make these they were shrimp puffs. I made them years ago, but then with the lobster, it was a game changer. <laughs> um, and that magma pizza oven is better than my oven at home. It is off just on says 350 degrees. It's like 10 minutes done. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, oh, Great and question. my air fryer. So Kelly, my neighbor. So, <laughs> oh, she's back on HSN. Yeah, she's okay. back. Oh, okay. on HSN. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, she made me a believer in air fryers when they first came out. I was like, air fryer, everybody's air fryer, whatever. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Moses, is it a game changer, too? Yeah. I plug that thing outside next to the my grill. And, uh, you know, tater tots in that thing <laughs> is phenomenal. I love my air fryer, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to read. I can't, I can't see it. Uh, Rick, uh, uh, Rich, we met them at the... Uh, FMCA in Georgia. He and his wife Nancy. Yes, you guys have been on the cruise ship. They also have beagles. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We've got them in Georgia at the FMCA. Yeah, the that's FMCA. Right. Yeah. 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 Let's talk about that. So uh, one of the places that we're doing a couple events, we're doing Winnebago's Grand National Rally. It's also called Camp Winnebago this yep. year. We leave in two weeks to head out there. We're also going to be going to the Hershey RV, the what's they call it, the largest Hershey RV show, RV show in the country. Yeah. Uh, I think that's September. That's September 14th through the 17th. Yeah. So if Hershey. you guys can come out to see us in Hershey or in Forest City, Iowa, at the Winnebago event, we'd be fantastic. Yeah, the Winnebago event, you do have to be a Winnebago owner. So all, any of you that are Winnebago owners, please come out. It is such fun. Oh my goodness! And you're on Winnebago grounds in their own campground. Uh, live music, um, lots of fun. Uh, I'll be cooking. Um, and then the Hershey RV show, we will be there in the Campers Inn booth. Um, yep. And that's September 14th through the 17th. Philly Billy, uh, y'all better, because yeah. I know you're not far. Um, and Lisa said she got her sticker. I'm just going to let you guys know that these are going to be collector's items because this is season two. We're already working on season three stickers. So if you guys want to get season two sticker, go to the website and hit the subscribe and give us your address. And we'll send you out some stickers, the, the old, uh, the season two stickers, actually. Yeah. yeah. Thanks yeah. for letting us know you got them, though, Lisa. Yeah. yeah. And Ken, yeah. if I, yeah, I'll That's never get him out of the Coco Museum. Did I say Coco? <laughs> I can't, I can't read. <laughs> the visit the AACA Museum across the street. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like that. that. I like that. Yeah. Okay, Ken, I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. We, that, uh, Hershey was our last or last year was our first time at yeah. Hershey and it is huge. We will not be down on the floor of the giant center. We won't make you walk all the way down the stairs to the floor. We're going to be up top in the campers in booth. So look for the campers in retail booth. Uh, that's outside on the, on the, uh, what do you call it there? The, uh, the ground, the, the sidewalks. Whatever, yeah. uh, we're not going to be down inside the giant center this year. So look for us out in the campers in booth. Very cool. Yeah. Yep, and then we'll be in Tampa in January, but that's a little ways away. Oh, okay. It's um, the Antique Car Club of America Museum. Oh, very oh, I like cool. that. I like that. Very nice, Ken. Thank you for that tip. Yeah, and that Facebook. whole area is beautiful too. So much history. I'm a nerd, um, and I I love all the the history around there. 
Patrice is our history nerd. When you <laughs> see the history, I'm usually pretty quiet because I'm not a history guy, but I learned so much from her asking questions and I just, I love it. Well, and part of this, doing this show, yeah. I mean, for a lot of things, number one, you know, this country, these parks and these lands, the national parks and the state parks have been set aside for us. There are lands to enjoy and we're, we're stewards of them. And to, I, I feel it's important. Our nephews, you know, we've gone hiking with them, bring, bring them out, teach them about these lands, leave no trace. Um, you know, we've got a lot of development. We've got a lot of everything else on demand, you know, right here at our fingertips, put it down, get outside. Number one, focus for me is always get outside. Number two are the small businesses and the hardworking Americans. Both of us come from a family, you know, my dad owned a muffler shop in Nebraska. You know, he was a hardworking blue collar guy. Your dad owned a, a travel business in Cocoa Beach. You know, so we know what it's like to get up and go to work. Yep. Um, our parents, you know, showed us that. So for us, we want to shine a spotlight on all of those American companies and a lot of our partners that we have on here, like Blue Ox, fourth generation, you know, family owned uh, company, and they employ everybody around there in Pender, Nebraska. They even get their steel from Norfolk, Nebraska. Um, you know, Hughes and Magma and Campers Inn is another third or fourth generation, fourth generation. Well, that's how we learned about Winnebago. We've been Winnebago yeah. owners for since 2004, I think it was, it was. Yeah. My first one. Yeah. Um, and we tried another brand in between to get, we went a little bit smaller so Patrice could learn how to drive. And in six months, it almost was falling apart. So we went right back to Winnebago. And last year was our first GNR, Grand National Rally on Forest City. And if you watch that show, very popular show, we got to do the Winnebago factory tour. And if you're going to buy an RV, to us, it was a game changer. It truly you know, it, it sold us that we are with the right company. Absolutely. And those people, I think uh, Hugh Bauer, who yep. is the, the president of Winnebago Outdoors, had said they had just celebrated five uh, people. Oh, yeah. Over 40 years. That each of them had over 40 years yeah. um, working for the same. And they have, you know, two other generations behind them still working there. So, uh, again, Nothing makes me more proud uh, when I meet these companies, even the lobster, the uh, oh, Young's yeah. Lobster Pound, you know, uh, fourth generation um, is meeting these people and these families and really getting to know them. It makes me proud to be American. I, again, I, I and learning our history. You know, I said it in the Chattanooga episode. It's not always pretty, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it's important for us and, and going and standing in these lands and where the, in a battle happened or, you know, the underground railroad or uh, it's, it's just moving and it's important. It reminds me of the interview we did with Aaron Lincoln from Searsport yep. on the schooner OLAD. And you really need to go to the website or the YouTube channel and watch the outtake of the interview we did with Aaron. And you'll find that his family was here before, I mean, he's, he's a Lincoln. I mean, he's part of the Lincoln family. So his heritage in this country was even before Maine. I mean, yeah, yeah. And, and so fascinating. Yeah, the, the, the counties up there were divided into yeah. three different counties, Knox, Lincoln, and yeah. I can't remember yeah. the other one. And Lincoln happens to be his family. Yeah. So um, really rich in history up there. We got some more questions here. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Emmett Lee, sure. thank, thank you. you. Oh, let's put it up here and take a little reader. I'll have to share this. Keep other guys to take the tips. Oh, from thanks, Emmett. Please, if you guys can share the show, if you're on Facebook, share the, the live feed right now. We could love to get some new followers. I mean, we just started this show. We look at this is really our second season, but the first season was only six episodes during COVID. Uh, and we had a completely different format. So this is really our first season is the way we look at it. So we're going into, we say our third season, but we're looking so forward to uh, doing this format so much more. So, Emmett, thank you for, for stopping in tonight on Facebook. Uh, Lisa is from the area where Young's Lobster Pound is. So either Belfast or Searsport. Oh, yeah. Um, Camden was gorgeous, too. All That's of that all. area. Belfast. It's... We went into Belfast yeah. after that shoot yeah. at Young's Lobster Pound. 
the whole crew, we had eaten all that lobster. We went into Belfast just to walk it off and kind of sightsee a little bit. And we wound up wandering into this little yeah. wine Spices, and olive oil yeah, yeah. shop. And the owners live upstairs. <laughs> they came downstairs. They were giving us tastes of everything. Mm, it was awesome. Um, they garden. They gave me this huge cucumber. Yeah. Um, I mean, everybody up there is just so uh, weirdly friendly. It's wonderful. <laughs> no, we, we like Maine. I it love to go back. I want to go. I, I want to do. We did the uh, at Amicalola. We started at the uh, the beginning of the Appalachian Trail, and we didn't get to go to what is it? Cut. Acadia. Not, oh, no, uh, uh, Katahdin. Katahdin. I would love to do that hike up to the end of the Appalachian Trail in Maine. And so, Maine, if you're we'll watching, we'll I'd go love back. to come back. Uh, Kelly Harris is asking us if we've got Montana coming up. Yes, we do. But I bet you, Kelly, it's yeah. not your part of Montana. Yeah. Um, we're going to eastern Montana. Uh, they specifically asked us to go there. And uh, we're doing some... Dinosaurs, which I know the uh, hawk would love it and the kids would love it. Um, they found a T-Rex skull mm -hmm. and a triceratops, triceratops uh, bones. Um, it's on the um, on a KT the, line. Yeah, the KT line. Some the, the, yeah, We're yeah. going to meet with a paleontologist because I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're also going stargazing. But what we're doing there in Montana is we're going boondocking. So no electricity, no water. Straight up boondocking. So we're going to do a boondocking show. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. So we're looking forward to that. That's our first shoot. Um, Ken says, Patrice, tell us about your experience swimming with the manatees. Um, I was scared out of my mind going into it, <laughs> not knowing what to expect. Again, I you know, grew up in Nebraska. We don't have those things. Um, <laughs> and in salt water, there's a lot of things. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. I'm just, I'm, tell, them, tell them what happened, though, on the shoot. That we had to go back. Oh, yeah, I'll let you say okay. that. Um, but getting in the water, you're floating in this um, five mil wetsuit that keeps you buoyant. Yep. And you just really have to keep, he tells you to not kick and just be kind of still. So I take it to an extra level. So the whole time I'm like <laughs> this, just kind of trying to get in there. And you let them float up to you. And oh my gosh, they're amazing. They really are incredibly peaceful creatures and they come up and they're curious the the more you just he said um want to see a manatee be a manatee mm -hmm. so you just lay there and wait for them to come up to you they came up and they like touched your leg yep, and yep. they'd be right underneath you and come right up and talk to you or you know look at you um i would hold my breath and just <laughs> kind of stay as still as i could um it was it was Thrilling. She's a trooper. She does a lot of things that I don't think she normally would do, but because I don't want to miss out, I don't want, I don't want to miss out and I don't want to say no, but inside I'm, you, you should hear the internal dialogue. <laughs> so we get to tell you a little behind the scenes on that shoot. So, and this is no knock on the, uh, the plantation, the folks. That no, took us. Great, that's not great their people. job to no. do that. So we went in and we didn't have a permit to get our whole crew in. So we gave the diver, Jake, Jake, Jake from the, the, the Jake from State Farm. We got Jake. Uh, we gave him the GoPro to film. So we go in there and we film for probably forty-five minutes to an hour. We come back out to look at the footage, all still photos. <laughs> so of course, George Albright, our our camera guy, says we can't have that. So I went and so all that footage that you saw from that was actually Patrice had a great shot too. Yeah. So we shot all that footage ourselves. We'd have no the second time we went back, yeah. which was better too, because there was a big tour group out in front of us. And uh, one of my pet peeves is, you know, when you're in an area <laughs> with a lot of people, just, you know, keep your conversations to yourself. You don't have to be yelling across the whole <laughs> lagoon at each other. You know, they were loud and they were kicking up stuff so that the, it was kind of silty in the water. Yep, Once side. they left, everything settled down and we had a mama and a tater tot. They yep. called the pups tater, tater tots. tots all to ourselves. And they just kept coming up and they knew Jake's voice. Yeah, um, they, they knew were, Jake. They knew Jake. And it was it was phenomenal. I, I will I say though, highly recommend it. I will say, though, it's closed right now. They're rehabbing the spring right now. So make sure you go to the website 
And I think it's this fall when they open again because they were closing like a month after we did the show and they were refurbing and re rehabilitating the, the channel, spring. Yeah. yeah. The channel to get in there and all the spring. So somebody, Jeff had a manatee get super gropey <laughs> and learn that that particular manatee was nicknamed. Jessica <laughs> I believe it. Cause they were, they yeah. would come oh, just watching them um, use their fins on the bottom yep. and push off yep. and then they'd come up. You know, yeah, I can I can see that, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you another behind the scenes. So we were out shooting uh, Smith Falls, Nebraska, <laughs> Smith Falls State Park in Valentine, Nebraska, up in the top part that was of Nebraska. That's the Niobrara episode. Yeah, the Niobrara episode. Um, and so when we walked out to the boardwalk to the falls, there were probably 20 people in the falls, and we couldn't shoot because it was noise, kids screaming. It was crazy. So we sat there and kind of like, you know, waited for everybody to leave. And we said, we can't go back to the bathroom to change. We got to change right here. Well, we had left, we had put shorts on underneath our pants um, going out there. We each had, no, no, no we carried no, him with us. No, we carried yeah, him with us. You're so right. We literally dropped. So everything. our crew, once everybody left, they, we had the two fun. of the cameramen block the boardwalk just to like, for, we don't want to impede anybody else, but just to keep a lookout. So we went behind off the um, boardwalk into the bushes and dropped our pants and put on our shorts. And, and we got to do we got to do for TV. Yeah, we did all. We, we shot everything, got done, yeah. could, you know, get home to the RV later that night. <laughs> this is this is a true story. I all of a sudden feel an itch about right here. And I'm like, I got something itching on my backside i get back to the rv and i have 15 chiggers chigger bites all over on my booty tiny. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't get to see that part it wasn't yeah. we didn't shoot it we didn't even know it happened but... i didn't go that deep into the bushes so <laughs> i was fine so note if you go change anywhere if you go to smith falls go careful the of the the, the brush the, I just heard that they just redid the uh, the, the boardwalk board is now accessible. and they cleared it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it's accessible, accessible for uh, the yeah. Yeah, yep. yep. So that's a good one. If you get to go see uh, Nebraska's highest waterfall, just be careful of what's in the bushes around it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, we had uh, again a lot of fun. I'm I my face hurts from <laughs> thinking about what we're gonna do next. Um, we pick up our new Winnebago tomorrow, actually. Um, we're going to go get an Adventurer 35 F, F um, if you want to look it on. Uh, well, we'll Vegas take pictures stuff. tomorrow. Yeah. We'll take pictures tomorrow. I'm excited because it still has a bath and a half. Yeah. Um, traveling with this many dudes. <laughs> um, everybody can stay in the half bath up front. And then I got my own bathroom that nobody ever goes in. <laughs> um, I'm very excited. Very excited to uh, have another Winnebago and um I, I can't wait. We get to go tomorrow. It's like Christmas. Yeah, and I want to say thanks to uh, Duluth Trading Company. They just joined the show this year. This is a, I probably got a little couple of wrinkles in here still. Yeah. So I just got it out. But Literally just sorry. unfolded just it out. Just got it, out it yesterday. Box. Yeah, there's right. a wrinkle right there. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, Mom. But Duluth Trading Company, thank you so much for joining the show this next year for season three. Uh, it's probably Patrice's one of her toughest jobs is dressing us for the shoots every day. So knowing that we're going to have uh, a great clother. Clothing, what do you Clothier. call it? Clothier. Well, and just so you know, a little behind the scenes too about us is this is our company and the TV show is us. This is what we do. So um, still behind the scenes, I I do all the, the sales. So everybody, every product, everything we use, we use. Um, and I, I said it before earlier on in the show, these are only products that we would use. Um, I actually stalked Duluth Trading Company for, for two three, years, years. three years because I love their clothes. I've been wearing them to hike for 10, 12 years. I still have shorts from 12 years ago because it's a great product. They fit. I love the product. I wear overalls to do yeah. my gardening. My neighbor can even attest. I'm sure you see me in my wacky outfits when I'm mowing the yard. Your chicken boots. Uh, my chicken boots and my Duluth overalls. Well, but sorry. I love them. <laughs> so when they decided, um, finally <laughs> got tired of me calling and calling and calling um, to join us this year, uh, we were thrilled. And we got our first 
box um, yesterday, and he just he's yeah. like, I'm wearing it. So it's excuse, actually my AKHG, mom HG, which is Alaska hard gear. Yeah, yeah Alaska hard yeah. gear is their new is their outdoor apparel. Yeah. All right, so Ken's got a new. Oh, another there's question. our another namer, Joanne. Is there, is there another, when you travel, where does the crew stay? Great question, Ken. The crew stays as close as they can to us as possible. So if we have cabins in the park, they stay in the cabins, possibly. If there are no cabins, they obviously stay at a hotel. They get rental cars. They don't travel with us. Patrice and I are the ones who travel. They fly out to an airport, get a rental car, and come to us, stay in a hotel usually. But what it, some of the best shoots we get are when they stay closer to us because we can get early morning shots and late night shots. So that's the you know the question you say is where do they stay? It's in a well, hotel. Usually. And Ken, you should know they're at um, Sunshine Key. Yep. They've got the tiny houses yep, that's where they stay. on location. So they've stayed in the tiny houses. Plus, it's a lot of fun because we hang out, you know, at night. Uh, our photographer brought his uh, vision quest. Uh, oh, no, his uh, meta quest. Meta quest 3D, 3D and we all fit into the RV one night and we're doing this meta quest video game. I mean, we truly do like each other, <laughs> um, but they don't travel with us. They fly out, like Kevin said, because, you know, every day that they're out traveling or shooting, we're paying for them. So that's their job. Um, and Kevin and I take off from here and, and we're living the life in the RV. We love it because she hates to fly. Yeah. I mean, she is rain man when she comes to fly. Oh, seriously. I have to watch my arm because she will, any turbulence <laughs> and it's, we have to actually fly to go to Philadelphia here in a couple months, so she's not excited about yeah, that. Yeah, so Philly Billy, we're going to the Phillies game um, Tuesday, uh, the 22nd. Yeah, yeah. Tw yeah, uh, if that's a hey, Tuesday. Joanne. Um, yeah, so yeah, I don't Oops. like to fly. That's why we RV. That's uh, why, yeah. we, I mean, authentically, we are RVers because. No more national parks, Kelly. It's too much with the permitting, too much with the crowds, too much government involved. We can't this, fly the drone. The drone, the drone is. I mean, our drone flyer is FAA or F, yeah, FAA certified. He's, he's fantastic, Dan. Uh, we call him Redneck Fly Guy. He's just a great guy. And without him flying the drone, we just feel like it's missing a piece of the show. So it's we, all about state parks for We us. did have a lot of cooperation the first season we shot at the South Rim and the Grand Canyon and Saguaro and Wind Cave. Um, so we we had a lot of cooperation from the National Park Service. Um, the South Rim, I couldn't believe how much access we had and they let us do so much, but we can't fly the drone. Um, and again, it is so crowded, which is wonderful. You know, again, these are lands that have been set aside for us to mm -hmm. enjoy and learn about and take care of. Um, but we, we've always been state park goers anyway, even here in Tampa, we go to, Absolutely. Hillsboro River, River State, State Park. Park. Yeah. We go to Alafaya. Absolutely. You know, we we love the state park system too. Uh, I will say this: the Grand Canyon episode we did in the first season. One of the best times I've ever had is riding an electric bike all the way eight miles down to Hermit's Rest and back. Probably, I mean, we had to do it quite fast. And if I did it again, I would do it much slower and stop and see more. But I will say this, we have a new e-bike sponsor and we are so excited. We weren't exactly fans of our previous. We had those big tire bikes for e-bikes and they're they a little bit, I mean, that's for sand, but we're never in sand on a beach. So they, they kind of tend to want to tip over a little bit. So we have gone to another company called Electric Bike Company. American made. Made, made right here in California. In California Long and Beach. They're just beach bikes. Yeah. They're, they're normal tires. It's a beach cruiser, and that's what I'm used to, and that's what we're used to. So you're going to see different bikes this year from last year. We we just we just weren't a fan. the The big tire bikes to me are they're a little tippy. They want to kind of tip on you because they're these huge tires, and so we wanted to go more to a beach cruiser. So you're going to see those. We just got those. They came in this week too. So you'll see those here yeah. and soon. Kelly, we will go to Glacier National Park. Oh yeah, you, and I want to see the saguaros and the redwoods. Yeah. There are so many national parks. I still need to, you know, check that box. But um, I know you guys are huge uh, Montana fans. Look who, so. look who it is! Ah, my sister's in here. Wow. It's a family occasion. Like you know, he, he knows this after me and 
with me for 20 plus years. My whole family's going to show up. <laughs> She's out in Michigan, right? She's in Michigan. She's in Michigan, yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks for having. Thanks for stopping in, Danielle. Hi. And then there's Shanna. Oh, there's right? Shanna. <laughs> oh, hey, girl. She's my hairdresser's in here. <laughs> yeah. That, okay. So one of the biggest challenges of any of this, and I'm not a I'm not a girly girl, but is the hair management. Yeah. I can never have good hair ever <laughs> filming a show. So. You'll see me in a lot of hats and because it's just impossible. Patrice gets so frustrated because she wants to, you know, have this nice and she gets up and it's like humidity. Or, or I do a before and after. So yeah. in the mornings when we do that driving scene. So every episode opens up with us driving. So that morning I'm in the RV all day. So my hair is good because I'm in air conditioner. But then when we go hike the, the sunset at the end of the day, it's like... <laughs> So I always send my family the before and after picture and they're hilarious. I'm going to have to post that because they're funny. Yeah, you are. That is funny. <laughs> uh, we will be doing more tips this season, uh, whether it's product tips. Uh, I know last year we did the Hughes. I, I taught Patrice the electric and it was a big hit. People want more of it. So we're going to do probably yeah. littler tips, but more of it. So like the first episode in Montana, we're going to be doing boondocking. So we're going to have some solar panels and so we're going to talk about that so there'll be there'll be still adventure and history and food and that but there's also going to be a little more we, tips as we've well we've been asked a lot of tips yeah. um you know and what are you using and how do you use it and what do you think about this and so um we and we want to hear from you too if it's too much you know after you know this season um we just want to be able to share a lot of that um but we don't want to change the format of the show. I don't nope. want to slow it down. It really is. Uh, this is a brainchild of his. He is the creator of the format, and this is his vision. Um, I just get to come in and have fun and add to it. Um, but he really wants to inspire people to go do this. Um, whether you do it in an RV, which is how we do it, we highly recommend it. But if you do it in a car, you fly in and you stay in a hotel and then go do it or get a rent an Airbnb for a month, like some people I know in the neighborhood, um, you know, you can go do all these things, too. We just want you to get out, see America, turn off the TV other than our show, um, turn off the news and realize that we really do like each other out here in the country and there are a lot of good people and we don't need to listen to, you know, certain folks. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I, I do make right? you, I don't have to try hard to make There's you laugh, Jim. Danielle. I know. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. That's our dog sitter. Yeah. <laughs> that right, We couldn't do this without our dog sitter. Maybe it's not about solar. Yeah, yeah. solar is, is we something. We do, too. We need to do a lot more research on the solar, too. We're going to learn um, a lot about solar ourselves. Yeah, and, again, yeah. we're going to take you along and kind of learn. We're not the know-it-alls. If you notice with the show is we're not – we always have, you know, a, a ranger or someone who's a specialist that – we're not the know-it-alls. We just are normal people. Like Patrice said, I've been editing for 31 years. That, he's a know-it-all on that. So we're staying yeah. in our lane. Stay in your lane. <laughs> You know, I'm not going to pretend that we're the expert on dinosaurs. Well, or, like Patrice you know. said, I, I've been inspiring people to fish for the past 24 years and fishing, saltwater fishing. And when the, the opportunity came to do this show and Discovery asked when COVID hit and said, what are you going to do now? We couldn't fish. We couldn't go to the ramps. They were closed. We didn't know if we were going to transmit it to, to the you know people on the boat. So, so the fishing show just stopped. And so Discovery said, well, what are you going to do? And I just... I just blurted it out. How about an RV show? I've been behind the camera for 31 years. So out in front for me is a little bit, I'm still getting used to it. She's a pro. Uh, I'm still still trying to figure it out. But I hope I can inspire some of you to get out and see some of these state parks and some of these places to eat and the history. Uh, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, Hughes Autoformers joined us. Oh, yeah. That's so awesome. And uh, to be honest, uh, this was our first year with Hughes. Yep. Um, and a product that I don't think I would feel comfortable RVing without ever. All these years, yeah. um, the surge Never. protector, it is protecting yeah. your investment. You're buying this, you know, big power watch job. Yeah. And it, it and we're gonna teach you more about that this year. 
Um, it saved us actually when we yeah. were filming in Melbourne. Yeah. Uh, Melbourne had just gotten hit by Hurricane, hurricane. Ian. Yep. So they put us at a site. A lot of the sites had um, been taken out by yep. water, but they put us at a nice waterfront site so we could have a picture at a site. Well, that night, um, our power, we have fans when we sleep and they just kept surging back and forth, yep. back and forth. Well, the next day we found out um, it had shut off the RV and saved our... Everybody else had no power except yep. us because we had the auto farmer. Yep. So Brett with Hughes Auto Farmer out Brilliant. of California, it's a brilliant product. If you spend this kind of money on an RV, you should spend the protect extra it. couple dollars to protect it because you don't know when you go to, to an RV park, and I, I, we said this on the show, as people come to the RV park, you know, check in Especially at three o'clock. Especially in the summer. It's, oh, definitely in, in the Florida. summer. Where everybody's running their ACs and their microwaves and all those things are running. Your power at that post is going up and down. The Hughes Auto Former cleans the power, makes sure it's safe. And if it ever gets dangerous, it shuts off the RV. Check them out on our website. You can yeah. get over to their web, you know, check them out on Facebook, give them a like, ask them some questions too. They're the experts again. We know how we use the product, but we want to talk to the experts. So um, uh, Sherry says, just promise you won't change that first, that first sunset <laughs> every episode. Not a chance will we change it. Sherry, I'm just going to say I'm going to speak to my camera guy right now because he said <laughs> something about that. And I said, no, never. I will never. If you know me, if you know the show, you know, us. my father has instilled in me the sunset is the end of the day. Celebrate we should it. celebrate it, especially when you've been six to seven hours driving to your campsite. Don't sit by the fire. Go take a walk and do a hike and go watch the sunset. Then come you back. You have to the, the fire. rest of the week for the fire and to sit and relax. And you know, for us, we I want to go. I want to get some steps in. And here's another little secret. I want to I want to carry the backpack. Okay, I've yeah, always carried the one. backpack for 20 plus years. Um, I have uh, voices that <laughs> that if I carry the heaviest backpack and I get the most steps in, then I can have an extra glass of wine. Um, that's just what it is. It's good for my bones to carry a good heavy backpack. When we got married, it was in our vows <laughs> that she was going to carry the pack and bring the snacks. Bring the snacks. I was going to set up the adventure. So we literally are doing our <laughs> vows yeah. with this show. So we love it. Absolutely. But, and a lot of people ask, why is she carrying you know. the backpack? And he doesn't. He's like, you're making me look bad. But it's been that way for 20 years. <laughs> I, I'd like to take the stairs when we get to a building. I don't want to take the elevator. I just because that way I can having an extra glass of wine. All right. Diana from mm -hmm. Facebook asks, when does the next season start? All right. So we currently are scheduled to air January. in January. Mm -hmm. So January 1st on Discovery Channel. And then April 1st, we'll head over to Motor Trend. So there's 26 weeks that they'll be on. They run on Discovery. Then the same shows will run on Motor Trend. So we'll have extras coming out. We start filming uh, in August. We'll be heading out west. Um, so we'll have behind the scenes and photos and some fun stuff coming up and, and extras um, on the website. If you go to the outtakes um, on our website, rvmarriottv.com, there's yep. full length of videos, full length episode uh, interviews, um, things that you didn't see on the show. So, you know, you can find those and and uh, watch a little bit of those while we're we're filming this season. Yeah, this is the outtake section yeah. right here. So here's the full interview with Ranger Kaz, Kazmir, Kazmir? Kaz. Kaz, mm -hmm. Ranger Kaz. Uh, and that was with John Evans from Pleasant Mountain. He tells us all about that. Uh, history. Amy, Amy, Amy tells Cusera. us about it. So these are all, this stuff didn't make it on the show. So if you want to get more, like I said, this interview with Aaron Lincoln, none of it made the show. And it's fascinating it's very to listen to the guy who's been up there in Maine his whole life. So it's yeah. really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, tell us about the griddle grill you use outside. Um, it's magma. Uh, magma makes the cross fire um, box. box. Fire box. And um, you can get different attachments. I love the griddle. I've got the grill. And then I just got the pizza oven that you saw in the season finale. Uh, that way, I like to decide, you know, when we're going somewhere, uh, he'll say, what are you bringing? And I'll say, oh, bring me the griddle. You know, and that's all I'll need because I can use the other side as just a burner. 
Um, it's perfect. I love cooking outside. I'd rather cook outside than inside and heat up the RV, especially in the summer. But when we're on location, I want to enjoy the area. I'd rather be outside anyway. So having the magma, plus it all folds in. It's all stainless steel. You can clean everything. Every part comes out. That was one of my other biggest pet peeves is not being able to get certain things out to clean. Um, I, I love it. it it's really, um, I, I, we keep saying game changer, but every everything this year has been a game changer. Can they start it in the marine business? So they make grills that'll go in a rod holder for your boat. Yep. And that, so it was a natural transition over to RVs. They also have one for the hitch. You can put it on the hitch if you don't have the tripod. So it's a real and nice feature. you can do feature. a single. I've asked for a single yeah. uh, box rather than the double because there's when we're boondocking, um, there's going to be some times where I, we don't have enough room uh, for the double. So, you know, they do make a single. They also have a new um, beach fire series mm -hmm. um, where you can bring out your own, especially when we go out yeah. west. Um, Arizona, can't you can't burn fires at camp. So we'll have our own self-contained little firebox yeah. and we can still have the fire at night. Uh, that's another reason we're doing the camp night each mm -hmm. episode is that to get some of that stuff in. So the stuff you see at camp. So you're going to see more of our camp set. I think it's the third night of each shoot. Uh, it takes us four days to shoot an episode. Uh, we get there the first day. We'll do our drive. You're always, we're always going to start the show with our drive. Uh, I think it's something that sets us apart. And uh, I think it's a lot of fun. It's actually the most stressful part of the shoot. For everyone is the drive. Is the drive. Uh, Trying to find a place to turn around. Now know that when we do the beginning minute of the show, we do that eight to 10 times that loop. So think <laughs> okay, about that. It's a big bend. I mean, <laughs> go on, and so to find the U-turn spots, that's my job as I go look. Another thing I'm going to do here in the, in the, in the coming weeks is I'm going to do a whole Google Maps tutorial. For those of you who are looking for, uh, although Google Maps, I've asked them to make an RV mode. I'm still, uh, if, if you can go to Google Maps, click on the feedback and say, hey, give us an RV mode. I think they can do it very simply. Uh, they just need to have enough demand to do it. And so we will be able to get, you know, you'll be able to put in your weight and height of your RV. And I think Google will be able to take us. But I, I do all of my uh, street views, all of my uh, satellite photos, all that stuff I do so that I know exactly where we're turning around to do our U-turn eight or 10 times. But that's probably the most stressful part of the shoot is the first minute and a half shoot. And we've got our camera crew deployed yeah. throughout the the route that we're taking, uh, that Penobscot Bridge in uh, Maine um, that we did, that, that nice, beautiful cable stay bridge. And then we went up into the tower. You know, we had crew everywhere. And then we had the drone flying. So everybody has to get out. Um, it's, it's a whole production. <laughs> um, and yeah, you and I get to drive it eight, <laughs> 10 times. Here we go again. It's, uh, it's, um, it's yeah, the locals stressful. get to know us pretty well on that <laughs> first day. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. It's eight o'clock. So I know. this hour went an hour. super fast. I don't want to keep everybody. Who else? Everybody's good. Any everybody. more questions, guys? Yeah. Uh, we've been on here an hour. This is our first one. Like we said, we're getting ready to go out uh, to Iowa is our first stop to the Grand National Rally. They're calling it Camp Winnebago this year. Uh, so we're going to be there with our new uh, Winnebago Adventurer. And Campers Inn will be out there, too. Yep. Magma um, will be out with, there. With Magma and Hughes and um, Starbright products. We'll be out there. Blue Ox will be out there. Um, so come see us if you're a Winnebago owner. Um, we would love to meet more of you. Um, otherwise, we'd love to see everybody in Hershey. We'll be in Hershey, Pennsylvania from September 14th through the 17th at the RV show there. We'll be in the Campers Inn booth. Um, we'll see you in Tampa in January. Um, yeah. Oh, well, there's David. There's our photographer. Oh, right there. see you guys in Iowa. Penobscot Bridge is where I'm from. I was the town clerk there. Oh, Lisa. Oh, beautiful Lisa. location. It's that gorgeous. bridge. When I saw that bridge, I knew that was the beginning of the show. I was bummed we didn't get to go to Fort Knox a little more and see uh, that whole fort and area. We kind of ran out of time, but... I'm looking forward to getting back up to Maine. Beautiful place. It was beautiful. We did stay in Stockton Springs. Um, we stayed at Harbor Harborside. Harborside RV Park, RV Park. Right there in Stockton Springs. Yep. Beautiful. We had Very a, small park. We did have a camp night uh, planned in Maine. 
but um, in August, you all have these pterodactyl sized mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was, <laughs> we couldn't do that to our crew. So um, we, we had other plans. We did go down to the beach and that's yeah. that opening sunset scene. Danielle's asking when we're coming to Michigan. Danielle, uh, get with Michigan up there. Um, I've been um, stalking Michigan for um, two years. All right, so. we got to give some stuff away. Okay. So, all right. So, Ken, you're number one. You get the Starbright bucket. Uh, and I think you even used the product. So, we'll definitely can stock up your Starbright products. John uh, is John uh, Thornson's getting the Blue Ox cup. And then Sherry, I think, should get another Blue Ox cup. Yeah. Oh, uh, Sherry can get the, uh, oh, it's, a, the it's, a, it's a big beach towel. Yeah. It's a big beach towel. From our sunglass sponsor, yeah. Blender's Sunglasses. Um, so Ken, uh, what is it? Ken, Sherry, Lindgren, and who would you say, Lisa? John. John. Okay, yeah. John. Um, you guys go to our website or go to our Facebook page and message us and give us your address and we're going to send you some products here. Um, and we thank you guys so much for, for watching the show. Uh, it's really a dream to be in front of the camera. I never thought in 31 years I was going to be in front of the camera. And I just, it's a blast. It I is have a blast. so much fun. Yeah. All thank right? you. You guys make it fun. Thanks for watching. Please send us messages and, and stay in touch on Facebook. And we'll keep posting as we, uh, we head out. We're going to leave you with our favorite uh, song. It's been the most requested song. I've had five to ten people ask bye, us Mom. where they can listen to it. Uh, this is Just Say Bye. Bye, Danielle. Go to Muscle Shoals, Alabama, Flagstaff, Arizona, Maine, the home of friendship sloops. So check out this view. What do you think? Santa Fe, New Mexico, Mississippi, Tupelo, to Chicago, Illinois, to hear some blow. Ah, but the jazz is in New Orleans, it's hot down in Miami, and Highway 1 is California, oh, baby, where you wanna go, baby, where you wanna go, so baby, where you wanna go, well, anywhere you want, baby, where you wanna go to Rome, Virginia, Indiana, Bloomington, to Seattle just to feel the rain. Oh, Bay City, Michigan, Boston, Massachusetts, South Carolina, Charleston's just like a dream. Oh, fish on, oh, fish on. Oh, fish on. Ah, but then there's bluegrass in Kentucky, there's Big Island, Hawaii, and Georgia peaches always taste it so fine.